right guys tell me that you like it this is very nice and uh, we are going to look at how to create something like this in photoshop without wasting much of your time let's just get into it i have these two images here that i downloaded you can see this is an image of a light bulb and uh, this other one is an image of a, a water splash so these two images actually what we are going to use today to create something like this all right i'm going to drag this inside of photoshop like this and um, i'm also going to drag this inside on top of it scale this up holding down the alt key and let's try to reposition it properly Just move it forward a little bit, maybe rotate it kind of. So we'll bring it down. Okay, we just say check. Make sure you convert this back to a rasterized layer. And um, what we are going to do now is to add a layer mask to it. And you make sure your foreground color is black and white. Press B on the keyboard, right click, and choose a very nice soft feathered brush okay so we use the bracket key to reduce the size of this brush so as we are painting this black is going to remove it while um, white is going to fill it up i'll press x on the keyboard to fill this back the place i want to fill it okay so i'm going to really zoom close so that i can do this properly and see i can fill this back like this then i can press x to flip this color to black in order to get rid of some Part. so what I'm trying to do here is just to get rid of the part that I don't want okay so by the time you spend some few times doing this the way it should be I just make a copy of this layer by dragging it to this layer icon it's gonna quickly um, add to this so um, what I'm going to do is to just move this inside a little bit because I want this to really come inside of this place then I will grab my brush again and get rid of oops make sure you click on your layer in order to get rid of the other part of the brush okay so we get rid of this we just want this to extend to this place all right so I'm also going to get rid of this Okay, somewhere there is good now what we are going to do is to select these two layer go to our layer flyer menu here and merge the layers so that this will just be a single layer so we make a copy of it and um, with our move to selected we change the blending mode just by using the shortcut so this is actually where we can change the blending mode so I'm gonna use like difference here so it's gonna turn it to black all right just like what we have over here okay so the next thing to do is to create more layers so that we can really trace out the outline of this place so i'm going to create a new layer i'll quickly pause the video and trace this so i will grab my pen tool that will allow me to trace this properly like this okay So like I said, I'll pause the video and trace this round. All right, guys, I'll finish tracing this. Uh, just for note's sake, if you are using the pen tool, you find it difficult, um, quickly um, ask for some help and uh, check out some of other tutorials on how to use uh, Photoshop tools, which I'll be creating later on, okay? But this um, direct selection tool after using the pen tool will allow you to actually um, manipulate the anchor point like we can really change the anchor point like this in order to have more of a cleaner trace okay just take note of that and um, don't worry we are here for you in case um, you make any mistake you can always leave your comment we'll get back to you and um, everything will be just fine all right so by the time you do this the next thing to do is for us to come over to part right click on this part and make a selection okay so by the time we make a selection we don't want to lose this selection so we'll go ahead and go to select save selection okay so we can call this um let's go ahead and call it bulb <laughs> all right so it's saved now even if we deselect by pressing ctrl d we can still go to um select load and we can load back that bulb selection all right so we can delete the part we don't really need the part anymore then um, this is the layer we want to work with now so on this very selection I'm going to add a stroke with this selection on this bulb so I'll just go to edit stroke and um, 
so let's just choose this light color maybe like um, let's use like 10 pixels and click ok so it's just gonna add you can see it's adding a very round stroke um, on the bulb okay so what I'm going to do is to quickly um, go to my filter blur so with this layer selected I will choose Gaussian blur just to make sure I feather those strokes a little bit hmm? okay so something around that place is very much okay i'll make a copy of this and change the blending mode to screen just to brighten up the stroke a little bit then i'll select both layers and match the layers together so i'll go ahead and load the selection again by going to select load selection and uh, that will bring back the selection so from here we go to stroke basically we are repeating this process but the difference is that we are increasing this probably making this color more brighter okay we click ok so it's going to give us a more bigger stroke so with this selection still with the layer selected so we come over to filter and add Gaussian blur again so uh, we can increase the blur so that will like add in this blur on inside of the bulb a little bit okay so somewhere around this place is very much okay so I will deselect you can see we now have some highlight on this place okay so what we are going to do is to select this layer and um, also after the selecting the marquee selection we go to Gaussian blur and because we don't want that line to be as thick as that so just um, reduce the blur okay somewhere around okay somewhere around there is okay good so we make another selection don't forget that we increase the glow around it then um, we go ahead and load another selection load selection you get the idea of what i'm doing so i'm gonna stroke it again or probably stroke it like 10 pixels back so it's just gonna add a very small tick selection for me so i will just come over here and apply that gaussian blur on it deselect so it's just going to add a very small tiny so uh, what i'm going to do oops before i load this selection i'm going to undo i want to make sure that this selection will be on this new layer so i will undo and stroke it again so if it's on a new layer it's going to give me much much control so add the gaussian blur and deselect ctrl d then we can reduce the opacity of this and we don't want it to be too thick okay okay somewhere around this point is pretty much okay and this is coming to life now if you look at the original image there are so many other things here i added so many other things so let's come over here and um, this is actually the one that is giving us the glow effect so we are going to make a copy of it because we want much of the glow then um, we come over to this place and create a new layer this time around i'm going to add something that look like um like a light coming from this place and to do that inside of photoshop cc and css you can actually do that i can fill this with black everywhere is black just by control backspace then uh, we can move on to filter then render so we can add something like a lens flare don't forget we also have a um, light effect here so if you go to filter render we have lighting effect okay there is a light effect and we have different kind of light we'll talk about this later i'm not going to use it for now so i'll cancel i just wanted to show you that it's there but rather i'm going to use the um render lens flare okay so let's go ahead and choose lens flare okay so i can point this i want this to be pointing directly towards me like this so click ok um oops i'm gonna do it again render lens flare okay uh, let's choose um maybe 105 millimeter prime mm, let's choose 105 okay so it's gonna give us this shiny shiny stuff so what we are going to do is to select this layer with our move tool we use shift plus to change the blending mode we are looking at something that will blend in a little bit to this okay
don't worry we'll get the results soon okay somewhere around screen is pretty much okay because we are having this kind of blending into this place so i'm just gonna put it at the center just to give the illusion of light right there now if i want i can mask it a little bit grabbing my brush to to get rid of other things yeah. you get the idea okay you can get rid of the other things right there just for us to have that shiny light in that place okay now after doing all this the next thing you can do is to uh, quickly make a copy of it it's gonna um, increase that then uh, we go ahead and merge it merge merge down uh, yeah apply so it's gonna merge it as one layer you can see we can move it around let's just add it somewhere right there and reduce the opacity you don't want it to be too opaque okay around that 65 percent is very much okay now um you can see this is not that close compared to this so the next thing that we need to do is to actually add all this um, sparkling light all over it and how i did that was to use one of my special brush um pick any of this brush let's just create a new layer above this right click and scroll down to 1958 i'm gonna put um, my email address if you need any of this brush just um, email me i will send you um some of it so that you can use it for your own project okay so just pick this brush make sure you have your foreground color to be white and white should be on top you can see once i click once it add the sparkle effect so i'm going to increase the size of the brush by using the um, left and right bracket key you can see it's going to add that sparkling effect on that layer okay so um, i repositioned this and um, made copies of it you get the idea to make it look good then lastly i'm gonna select the main background layer and reduce the adjustment on the level so i'm gonna bring in the black a little bit okay so so that will see the effect so i'll bring it all the way to this point and then bring this one down maybe increase this a little bit you get the idea okay i think this is even more better than the previous one i did <laughs> you get the idea so let's just um select this pretty much you can uh, scale it down a little bit maybe scale it inside of this place good so you can reduce the opacity um, so that we don't have too much opacity right here okay it's okay then um, create a new layer for this and grab the brush again and apply the brush effect on the new layer so we don't really want this to be too much we can reduce that so what i did was to um, change the color of this brush by picking any of the color here yeah. so pick something brighter then i pick the brush and paint on this but before i do that i will convert this layer to color okay so that will allow me to paint on it just to apply the brush once on it so that it glows with this color you get the idea all right so this is it guys the this is how you can do something like this uh, by the time you spend more time tweaking it you're actually gonna get a more better result um, than the previous one okay so uh, i believe you've learned something today and um, i know this will pretty much help you to do some of your own personal project and uh, get things done the way it should be all right thank you for watching guys if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe for more and um, leave your comment we'll get back to you thank you bye